Refer to the data set of 20 randomly selected presidents given below. Treat the data as a sample and find the proportion of presidents who were taller than their opponents. Use that result to construct a 95% confidence interval estimate of the population percentage. Based on the result, does it appear that greater height is an advantage for presidential candidates? Why or why not? We will begin by clicking the icon to view the table of heights. We see that some of the presidents were taller than their opponents, such as Franklin Roosevelt, Richard Nixon, Dwight Eisenhower, and some were shorter, as in James K. Polk and Jimmy Carter. If we were to perform an analysis that addressed the question about greater height being an advantage, we would need to determine the proportion of this sample of presidents that were taller than their opponents. We can begin by opening the data set in StatCrunch. There are 20 presidents in the sample. We need to find the number that were taller than their opponent. We could do that simply by counting, or we could get StatCrunch to find this for us. What we will do is subtract the height of the opponent from the height of the elected president, and any of the values that are positive would indicate a president that is taller than his opponent. So we'll click Data, Compute, Expression. Then we'll click Build, and we'll click Height, Add Column, Subtract, Height Opponent, Add Column, and then press OK. Then click Compute. Now a column was added that expresses that difference. Now we can count the positive results. There are nine positive results in this list. We are to construct a 95% confidence interval. So we'll open StatCrunch and click Stat, Proportion Stats, One Sample, with Summary. There were nine successes out of 20 observations. We are to construct a 95% confidence interval, so we'll make sure that Confidence Interval for P is selected, and then press Compute. We are to express our answer in percentage form with one decimal place. So our lower limit will be 23.2% and our upper limit will be 66.8%. This interval spans a range that contains 50%. If there was an advantage, this entire interval would be greater than 50%. So our answer will be greater height does not appear to be an advantage for presidential candidates. If greater height was an advantage, then taller candidates should have won more than 50% of the elections, and the confidence interval does include 50%.